All right, guys, welcome to the dish on this Monday. You got a lot of interesting to hearing about today. Welcome, welcome ton to of the stuff. Dish, as if we just showed up. <laughs> ton of stuff. You just didn't show up. Here's the deal. I do want to say on a serious note, I got to see Precious last night. You said it was awesome. Saw it in the theater, and here's the deal. Precious, of course, produced by Denver's own Sarah Siegel Magnus. And I'm telling you now, this film is one that changes you. You leave the theater a different person than when you walked in. Same thing as with Schindler's List. That's the last time I saw a movie this powerful. The movie was amazing. I only had one problem last night. It's not a joke. The guy behind me was the popcorn bag crinkler. And I don't mean the occasional crinkle. This man <laughs> crinkled the whole movie. The invasion of Iraq made less noise than this man made during the movie. Here is an example of what I had to deal with for two hours last night. There you have it. Non-stop crinkling. I tried the leer. You know that thing? Yeah. I tried the angry harumph. <laughs> nothing. Why People. Did you get up and move? Well, it was a packed theater. I, could, oh. I couldn't move. There's nothing more annoying than a guy who's crinkling his popcorn the whole time I'm trying to fo focus on... Oh, my Lord. It was you! What? It was you! What? <laughs> oh, what? Like Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I will Wait, say. Did you catch Precious? Yo, jeez, I could have killed you last night. Listen, my popcorn crisis is nothing compared to poor Tiger Woods. This guy, everybody's talking about today, including my good pals at TMZ.com. Let's head out live to Los Angeles as we do every day for the latest Hollywood buzz. Dax, please tell me you don't crinkle your popcorn at the theater. <laughs> no, no. I don't listen to you crunch it in my ear, though. It sounds very nice. Two hours I dealt with that last night. <laughs> Why did you just turn around and say, knock it off? And take exactly. his popcorn away from him. I tried. I gave him the angry no, stare. Didn't. Didn't that work. doesn't work. You have to literally turn around and say, knock it off. Uh, you yeah. know, I'm not pushy like that, Dex. You know me. I'm a wallflower. <laughs> That's a passive aggressive. <sighs> <laughs> That's exactly that. what I did. <laughs> All right, what's the deal with Tiger Woods? We want to know, is this whole thing a simple misunderstanding? Or was his wife actually trying to help him or what? Well, you know what? It's not looking like his wife was trying to help him out of the car. First of all, do you really go smash in the back of someone's back window to help him out and when they're sitting in the front seat of the car? No. I mean, even if you want to play the, okay, well, he did, she didn't want to break glass on his head. Okay, we'll do it on the passenger side. Nothing's really matching up. Her story's changing back and forth. Tiger's not talking to the police, and I think that's what's making the biggest mystery. The fact that he won't open the door and have a conversation and say, look, either we got in a fight, it got a little out of hand, you know, nothing terrible, we're all good. I think people would back off this story. But the fact that he's not talking is making people more interested. Now the cops are having to go to the hospital, trying to grab medical records to find out if they were scratch marks from nails or scratch marks from a steering wheel. And uh, cops are now trying to get their hands on surveillance tape at the house because I guess they've got tons of cameras around the house. So it, it'd catch that moment on tape. You know, the fact that he's not talking is, I think, the worst thing he could have done. Uh, so honestly, you guys here at TMZ are concluding that it, this was a fight between the two of them, yes? Well, we know for sure it was a fight. They did say that from the beginning that, yes, they had an argument. It escalated. But they're not saying, oh, well, it was domestic abuse. Because, you know, if she did really scratch his face, that, she, that could send her to jail, honestly. And uh, that's why the cops are so intent on figuring out what happened that, that morning. All right, keep us posted, Dax. Now, quickly, we're almost out of time. Everyone's also talking about those professional party crashers at the White House. This wasn't their first time. And on your website, you've got a gallery. They were photographed with almost every major celeb, weren't they? It, it is nuts, every celeb. I mean, just on the homepage alone, we have Oprah, we have Bill Clinton. She was with the, the, the Redskins, or White, I'm trying to think who it was, the Redskins uh, football team, the cheerleaders. I mean, she's hanging out with everyone, you guys. It's absolutely insane. They were able to crash into almost every party there is out there. Unreal. Prince Charles, even, for heaven's sake. I know, right? That was the weirdest one. I think I, came I heard they like, also Prince they also, Charles. They made it into Dave Frazier's Thanksgiving dinner as well. <laughs> That's the rumor. Crinkling popcorn. Crinkling popcorn the whole time. <laughs> All right, Dax. Always good to see you. Keep us posted there on the Tiger Woods thing. TMZ.com. We'll keep checking there on your website. All right, sounds good. Take it easy, my friend. Bye. All right. This is last night all over again. Please, with the pot. Next time, order the milk duds. That's a quiet food, okay? You haven't heard me jingle the box. <laughs> <laughs> You're that guy. Well, once again, my friends, I am the bridesmaid and never the bride. Congrats to former first daughter Chelsea Clinton.
she's getting engaged. How about that? I thought she was already engaged. Well, there have been rumors, but the 29-year-old daughter of Bill and Hillary uh, is now formally saying she's going to marry her longtime boyfriend, investment banker Mark Mezvinsky. The couple got engaged on Thanksgiving, and they announced it via email to all their friends. There's no word yet on when the wedding takes place, but we're told that Bill is already planning the bachelor party. Oh. Nine ladies dancing. <laughs> $4,500. That's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> Director Roman Polanski will likely be sprung from a Swiss jail. Authorities are working oh. with his lawyers to post the $4.5 million bail. He'll be allowed to stay at his Alpine chalet under fine. house arrest. Polanski will have to wear an electronic anklet. Are we going to see him? That's well, yeah, there's his lawyers, yeah. Something. He was indicted, of course, back in L.A. in, in the 70s, uh -huh. uh, and then he later fled the country. So we'll keep you posted, but it's likely he's going to get out of jail. You know, I only have one rule on this show. You don't hassle the Hoff, and you don't crinkle the popcorn. But mostly you don't hassle the Hoff, though it's been a rough weekend for David Hasselhoff and his ex-wife. The Hoff was hospitalized over the weekend. Paramedics were called to his home in Encino for some kind of a seizure. No word exactly what happened. Meantime, his ex-wife Pamela was arrested on DUI charges Saturday night. Not a good weekend for them. All right, you know, they already made a cartoon based on my life. It's called SpongeBob Hot Pants. <laughs> Huh? You like that one? No? Beavis and Botox? You like that one? Anyway. How, how about uh, Mr. Magoo? <laughs> Give me that. How about a cartoon based on... I was going to say I Dream a Genie. Oh, thank but you. It's not a cartoon. It's not no. a cartoon, no. but I'll take the compliment. Mm -hmm. Matthew McConaughey is doing a cartoon based on his oh, brother's well, life. Friends. The animated series based on Mike the Rooster McConaughey. This is the guy who named his son Miller Light. Remember that? Yeah. Oh. We're told that Rooster's tale will follow, quote... The world of a beer swilling redneck sheriff who marries a much younger woman from Mexico. Great. What kid wouldn't love that cartoon? Look for it on Fox of all things coming up next <laughs> year. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Don't you dare bash Fox. It's our network. Oh, okay. All right, you know I love cologne. Today I'm wearing. Yeah, a... I know. For I... once you didn't put on the what was that stuff called? The gummy bear? Ugh. Calvin Klein's regret. That's what I usually wear. <laughs> yeah. There's a new cologne out. How about a cologne <laughs> called Queen? <laughs> Queen Latifah <laughs> launching her new fag a fragrance <laughs> called not Queen. Flagrance. <laughs> it's not flagrant. Uh, it's in, that's her in Macy's over the weekend launching the whole new line. A lot of customers there and fans picking up the new scent Queen just in time for Christmas. Latifah is also looking to launch her new clothing line, and I love Queen Latifah. So hats off to her. That is now I know good what stuff. to get you for Christmas. Yeah, I well, love you... it. Oh, Available oh, Macy's okay. everywhere. Perfect. No brainer. Uh -huh. yep. Black Friday may be over, but don't close your wallet just yet. Oh, my Lord. Please. Yeah, after the break, Cyber Monday is here. Our own web savvy Nina Sperano talking about if there's any web sales on how to silence popcorn crinklers and other online deals. Stick around.